And I measured the cone travel to, to the point where it pops. The, so you start hearing it. Yeah. You start hearing it. I had it on a static of serial four hundred bar amp, and then brought up the voltage, and I could put twenty eight volts in. And that's as a low frequency shaping circuit to flat note responses. It's flat to within about two decibels from 35 to 17,000 cycles. Uh, the drivers are woofers, the seven inch uh, Dayton ES180 esoteric. The tweeter is the, also the esoteric, it's the Dayton ES25. Um, I started building them in November of last year, so I'm just completing them up now, so that's about how much time I've spent building them. Um, are there any questions? What's the finish? Finish is that's a uh, Rust Oleum Sunrise Red High Gloss Enamel. That was shot with a, a big Model 7, you know, high pressure spray gun at about 70, 70 psi. Did it in my garage. Can can you talk real real quick about the shadow lines because that's something that's pretty. Um, pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's typical of some of your builds. So. Okay, it's three quarter inch MDF. These shadow lines are where all of the blue joint seams are, where all the boards were were cut and put together. And so I took a router with a one sixteenth inch straight bit. I set up some some straight edges on there and then cut these shadow lines to a depth of 1 16th inch all the way around. Yeah. Took a long time setting up straight edges here, there, and then cut those all in there. And then after the painting was all done, I painted the shadow lines black. Just like with a small brush or something? Small brush and mask off. Yeah. Like removed the mask immediately. And then it was still rough, but then I, I used a rag dipped in mineral spirits and then lightly brushed over it to get a nice clean edge on it. Beautiful species. DIY for the win. Okay. Let's hear them. <laughs>